boys and girls, it's art time with Mrs. Kine, and today we are making a pizza. We listened to the book Pizza, pizza Party. If you are just joining us and you haven't read that book or listened to it, and you want to go ahead and listen to it, you can, or you can keep watching and maybe go back later. That was a lot of fun to listen to that story. And today we're going to make a shape pizza. We've been talking about shapes, and today we're gonna to make a shape pizza. And I have crayons and I have my marker. You can use whatever supplies you have. Let's start by warming up our hands like we do every week. Rub your hands together, wiggle your fingers, gently roll your wrists one way, roll them the other way, wiggle them again, and let's get ready and make our shape pizzas. Okay, today I would like to start with making a very large circle on my whole piece of paper because I want to make a big pizza. So I'm going to use my whole hand to draw with. Notice I'm practicing a little bit with my marker in my hand, but I'm not drawing. So practice making a big circle with your hand and when you feel like you're ready, put your pen, marker, crayon down and draw a big circle on your paper. So there's my big pizza shape. But the next thing I'm gonna draw is my sauce makes a wiggly shape. It doesn't make a circle. When we have sauce on our pizza, a lot of times it makes a wiggly shape. So I'm gonna draw this wiggly shape around here. It's a wiggle circle. So I'm gonna draw that shape next. Then I'm gonna add all the toppings onto my pizza. And my pizza is gonna have some organic shapes, which remember those are shapes that we find in nature, they're not man-made shapes, and we'll have a few geometric shapes, because our pepperonis, I'm gonna start with those, are circle shapes. So if you wanna put pepperoni on your pizza, you can. I'm gonna draw some pepperonis on my pizza. I'm gonna draw them all over. Maybe your family likes to get a pizza half and half, and maybe your topping's only gonna be on one side, and that's okay. The next thing I'm gonna add to my pizza are some green pepper shapes. And I'm gonna add those right here. And a green pepper makes like a big C shape and it kind of comes around like this and makes a little wiggle line in there. So I'm gonna make a few pepper shapes on my pizza. I'm gonna draw those in different places and going different ways. They're not all gonna go the same way. I want it to look interesting. Even though it's a pizza, it's artwork, it's art pizza. So I'm gonna make it go some different ways. Next, I'm gonna add sausage, and a sausage makes kind of like a little organic shape because it doesn't look like a circle. So my sausage crumbles are gonna be these kind of shapes on my pizza. Remember, you can put whatever you want to. You can even make a silly pizza like in Pete's pizza party and they kept adding words that started with the letter P and you could add that to your pizza if you wanted to. Now I'm going to add some mushroom shapes to my pizza. So it, a mushroom shape has a rainbow line and then a little straight lines off the bottom. So I'm going to add a rainbow line here, straight line here. Rainbow line, straight line, and then straight lines down here. Rainbow line, straight line, straight lines down here. Rainbow line, straight line, straight lines down here. You add whatever you want to. The last shape I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some black olives. Black olives have, they're a circle shape with another circle in the middle, but sometimes they're a little bit of an oval shape. They're not always the same shape. All of these to my pizza. All right, boys and girls, I have a lot of things added to my pizza. Now I'm going to color in my pizza. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. You can pause or you can go ahead and let it speed up and go to the end, but I'm going to add color to my pizza now. Hope you have fun with it, boys and girls.
boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I wanted to point out that maybe you noticed I have layered my colors on my pizza crust and on the cheese. Remember we've talked about layering before when we layer the colors it makes our art look very interesting and a little different. So I layered my yellow and brown for my crust and I layered some yellow and white for the cheese. Remember I always sign your work so I'm going to sign my work right here. I hope you had a great week and I hope you enjoyed our shape pizza and I will see you next time. Bye bye.